First of all, let's explain what UV unwrapping is. Well, whenever you want to texture your model and you want to create a texture, you have to uh, unfold all of its faces on a flat surface. So, in a way, you have to change your models into paper models so that they can all be put in three-dimensional geometry back again, or, or you have to become a three-dimensional virtual tailor. So this is what we have to do in uh, with a cube if it's necessary. So let's try to recreate this process in Blender. Let's add a cube and now let's use our uh, virtual scissors to create these cuts. Uh, in Blender and in, I believe, in other three-dimensional uh, uh, 3D applications, it's called uh, uh, this uh, 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 cuts are called seams. So we, let's create them. I will uh, 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 just start from this right wing. Uh, I marked my edges. Now, for uh, all the necessary cuts, I will mark this one. Control E mark seam, so the cuts were made. Let's open UV image editor. Let's select all the faces, hit U, unwrap, and there we uh, have it, just like in the given example. Now all you have to do is just hit UV and export our UV layout as an image. Open it in other two uh, dimensional application like GIMP or Photoshop, paint a texture and load it back to Blender. Let's discuss another example. This one is going to be uh, a hammer that consists of two parts. Uh, the iron one and the wooden uh, handle. Uh, okay, so basically I, would, uh, I will treat them as a cubes but with different shapes so that the, the whole uh, idea for unwrapping them will remain the same. I will start with uh, the metal thing. I will just select some of the edges now. This is how I would uh, select the edges in order to achieve the greatest, the, the, le the least uh, uh, dis uh, distorted uh, unwrapping uh, that is possible. I like to keep my um, islands uh, in the lowest number possible, so I will try to unwrap this whole part in just one piece. Okay, let me correct a scene there. Okay, selecting all the faces, unwrap, and here we go. I will create a new image in order to check whether and my unwrapping is correct. I will use UV grid and go to texture, uh, uh, sorry, texture view. And as you can see, there are some distortions here and there. There are no perfect squares. So let me just unwrap it once again. And instead of angle based method, I will use conformal one. And as you can see, the results are much, much better. Uh, so always check whether uh, a conformer or ankle uh, based method will work better for you. Uh, however, you should remember that conformal is in most cases for non-organic models, as you can uh, see in a minute. Now let's go to this wooden handle. Uh, always try to hide your seams in the places that uh, won't be visible. In this case, I will put them in this very <coughs> narrow cut. So let me just select the edges that are down below. Okay. I think I think I'm almost done. Um, great. Now I will just uh, select both ends of my handle because. I will create uh, this piece in, I will unwrap it in three islands, so in three separate pieces, and then now I will just, I will just fix this, this part, I think, I think it should work, so let's hit 
Ctrl E, Mark Seam, and let's unwrap this wooden handle. And as you can see, we've got um, some distortions. Let's check angle base method, and it looks much better. See, in the conformal, the, sh the, the size of squares uh, differs uh, a lot. In angle base method, this uh, problem uh, 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 never occurs. So, this is how our hammer looks like after unwrapping. It was fairly easy, not really complicated, and brought us a really great. Re our next model is a lamp that consists of three parts. The first one is a cable, the second one is this metal main part, while the third is a bulb. They all carry subsurf modifier that I will deselect in order to see my edges uh, much better. And here's my another tip. If you want to mark your seams uh, a little bit uh, faster, you may always change edge select mode into a tech seam from default select. Now when you select two edges, you will a blender will automatically create create a line that will connect them and will mark it as a seam so that in just two clicks I have a seam and that uh, uh, let me unwrap this model really nice. My bulb was made out of a cube that uh, uh, was sub, uh, subdivided with subsurf modifier a couple of times this is why unwrapping it is uh, such a joy. I marked some seams, hit U, unwrap, and see all those sides should be uh, should uh, look the same. However, with conformal method, uh, it just doesn't work this way. So let's switch to angle based, and this is what we expected from the very beginning. Uh, as you can see. Um, uh, these uh, distortions on the uh, seams are uh, visible, which is very natural, uh, very uh, obvious. Always use uh, rem remember about texture paint in Blender. You can use a clone brush and just fix these uh, issues uh, whenever it's pass whenever it's uh, needed. Now let's go for this main part. I will just mark one seam right here. And now I will just uh, uh, mark these uh, these holes because uh, well this lamp has thickness. We have to unwrap this uh, uh, thickness as well. So I will just select one edge in every uh, hole so that uh, it will change into uh, it will unwrap. Well, uh, for this screws, uh, let's see, uh, these were made from two uh, objects, so I will just select one edge for, uh, for this uh, neck of the screw, and for the rest, okay, sorry, this one has two edges, uh, okay, and for the Heads, uh, for the screw heads, I'm gonna uh, mark this part and this one. Uh, it should bring the greatest uh, results with the least effort. Uh, always remember to be uh, very reasonable and some of the details won't be visible uh, anyway, so don't waste your time on too precise unwrapping unless uh, these places will be visible during render. So let's mark seams here. Uh, let's let's take care of the top uh, uh, of the top part of our lamp, and let's create. I think final seam for the whole lamp that will go all also inside. Mark seam and um, let's just forget about this little piece. We won't waste our time on it, so let's hit U, unwrap, and here we go. 
Uh, however, there are some distortions. As you can see, the squares are uh, in different uh, uh, different uh, size and doesn't look that well. I'm afraid. And in this case, I wanted uh, the surf uh, I wanted a really precise unwrapping. So uh, what you can do is create another seam that will go through the whole object it always limits distortion and distortions and as you can see now it looks much better however always uh, try to uh, compare the results you will have with two different methods because um, there is no good rule and sometimes uh, just angle base look better than conformal and uh, vice versa so uh, remember to check both cases and I think this is this works the best there are some cases when you need to unwrap models made out of curves such as cables lines ropes uh, Sometimes it may bring some problems. However, you may not know that uh, every curve has its own UV coordinates. To enable them, you have to go into uh, texture space of your curve and select Use UV for mapping. Now, after converting your curve into a mesh and going into uh, UV uh, image uh, uh, mode, uh, you will see that your curve has has uh, UV coordinates. However, the scale of them is wrong. As you can see, our UV test grid uh, uh, squares were more rectangle, so we have to scale them on x axis in order to get it right. Okay, so but what if uh, you've got this object without uh, UV maps, without seams, that is no longer a curve. Well, sometimes you have to select only one edge loop and go to UV unwrapping and you will get a fairly good result. However, if you are looking for a really precise one, then try another method. So let's delete UV maps for our object and let's hit unwrap follow active quad. Let's select the last face from the last uh, 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 ring and let's see how this method works. Once again you have to scale your island on both axes but this method will bring you the greatest results that are possible. So give it a try. In my next example, I will uh, I will just use this uh, Zeppelin photo that requires a really fine texturing on its side and the bottom. No distortions, no nothing. So as greatest uh, uh, as uh, more precise uh, UV unwrapping as possible. So let's start from unwrapping our main part of Zeppelin. One long seam along its uh, length and let's just close uh, the ends of our model with some extra seams here as you can see it's got some thickness this will unwrap it as well uh, here some faces just uh, just prevent me from working here I will use Alt B in order to limit my view to the area I'm mo I'm uh, interested in, and let me just create some seams for my jet here. Perfect. Now, uh, one more thing: I need to take care of these holes, and um, if I would leave it the way it's now, it will create some completely unnecessary distortions and I just always like to keep my work nice and clean. And one more thing, because I'm gonna repeat this uh, 
repeat this uh, the very same uh, uh, unwrapping several times always unwrap your models whenever they are instances whenever they are using RI modifiers or uh, mirrors or else you will have to do it for every duplicate you created so be aware of this okay so I'm almost done here and let's see how how our sims will work in this case so let me unwrap my object here we go okay so let me create an image it's gonna be a UV grid and as you can see well it's I let me just unwrap it once again so it will fit the size of my image it works great I think that I'm really pleased with this result okay so you may think that well we're almost done uh, not really so let's go into paint mode and I will show you that creating uh, text in this case in this UV mapping is almost impossible if also if, if, if possible at all so let me just create a few straight lines as straight as I can have them without tablet as you can see they are already uh, already um, and they become slanted on its sides because of some distortions caused by uh, unwrapping so creating straight precise logos and placing them here is impossible when oh, it doesn't matter if it's a GIMP or Photoshop it's just impossible so how to solve this problem let me add another image here it's gonna be a pure white image and let me create another UV mapping I will try to create a, a put a blender logo down below right on the seams I will create another mapping project from view and I will load okay let me just uh, leave uh, paint mode and I will load blender image uh, uh, into UV image editor I can just by moving my island I can place the image uh, ooh, 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 where I want uh, and I can be really precise because the image is repeated uh, behind uh, the borders of my UV image editor and mo moreover it's also placed on the other side of my model let me just select all the faces that should not carry my blender logo image and let me go to whoops let me go to UV image editor I will click this I icon that will let me scale all the faces here and I will just put them on the white area so that they won't bother me and as you can see we've got logo the way uh, right where we wanted it to have so this is my second UV uh, mapping I will call it planner and uh, uh, see that the first one is uh, 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 carries the little camera icon right here this is very important you should keep it uh, uh, there let's add a material and with the texture it's gonna be image texture uh, my blender logo okay and I'm gonna use UV unwrapping but it's gonna be my planner uh, uh, mapping so the second part let's go to render uh, 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 panel let's hit bake for textures and now as in a result we should have uh, our blender logo perfectly uh, 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 baked on the first image no distortions no nothing this is something we can use in uh, 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 other uh, application uh, and, uh, and we can place as many uh, logos, pictures, text uh, as we need. So this is a great solution for the very uh, uh, precise uh, and exact uh, projects like this one.